Well, good morning uh, once again, folks, and uh, welcome back to the Elusive Lens channel. Uh, my sincerest apologies for having been uh, gone for so long, and uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, today, I welcome you again to uh, a uh, beautiful spring day in Montana. Woke up to uh, almost uh, two inches of snow. Just an exciting thing. We're northwest. This is pretty typical. And I, uh, I'm uh, looking at uh, the back road uh, scenery. So uh, we're going to try to capture something that almost represents the back country of Montana in weathers like this where you are the only one who you can depend on there's not many people that can get to you and uh, so let me show you what I'm looking at right now so as you can tell we are looking at just a, a small cabin with um, most likely a shed out in the back and it's right down a small creek with a back road, a railroad running through, just set in, in the back hills. Uh, really neat looking scene, and especially with the snow falling, uh, this blizzard going on. Uh, that really reminds me of a century ago scene where uh, the only thing that's missing or lacking is that smoke coming out of the wood smokestack chimney there uh, but other than that I absolutely love uh, scenes like this uh, usually you find scattered cattle you will find maybe uh, antelope or deer found in this uh, type of setting so I'm gonna try to grab this scene and uh, we'll talk a little over that uh, with the settings and things like that I'm gonna try my hardest not to be very long-winded simply uh, due to being completely just drenched with snow and uh, even though I'm shooting on a weather sealed body Canon 5D Mark II I don't think the lens I'm using this morning is that fortunate. I am shooting a uh, uh, Meyer Optic Gurlitz uh, 51.8 uh, although it's going to be stopped down all the way to 5.6 uh, for this morning scene um, and as the video suggests I wanted to focus on the subject of ISO which is maybe over uh, uh, used in social media and thousands of videos I assume However, is, is there such a thing as a perfect ISO setting for any specific uh, uh, scenario or is it a myth? And I find that in my personal experience that actually determined my next uh, choice of camera. So for instance, when I switched to uh, Canon 5D Mark II, the determining factor was uh, the lowest ISO setting and my previous camera could only go down to a hundred and this one goes as low as 50. Now of course that becomes a very intriguing uh, uh, subject uh, especially when you start following other uh, YouTube photographers and you uh, uh, hear them talk about uh, the ISO 50 they're using whether it's on GFX 50s or 100s or it's on their Nikon Z789 and things like that or the newer uh, Canon R systems and so that would determine the choice for my next uh, camera however the more I practiced out in the field with different settings uh, the more I found that the ISO 50 was not necessarily the best setting for uh, this particular camera I use and uh, to find out that actually varies for different uh, makes and models of cameras but I want to take this shot right now while the snow is still falling and then we're getting this uh, beautiful um, kind of uh, uh, foggy mystic scene and uh, like I said I am shooting a 50 millimeter lens at 5.6 and my setting is on 160 ISO and of course to compensate for that I have to increase uh, in, in order to compensate for the lack of light or the 
the light exposure I'm shooting a higher uh, shutter speed and my camera is set up right now to a two second timer so I've already set the scene the focus and we're gonna grab this shot real quick and this is what it turned out when it's uh, all done Okay, folks, as I'm driving by this uh, back ranch here, I noticed a small pond with a Canadian goose on it. So I'm going to try to grab a quick shot for it, see uh, how that turns out. Oh, I think I missed a, a really cool cool shot it was a bit skittish and uh, it looked like at one minute the goose laid down the neck and the head on the water and looked like it was resting but uh, now it was too it was too skittish so I did manage to uh, take a couple of shots of him but ah uh, not in the not in the best position that I was hoping to and so well back to another scene so I have realized that not having photographed for a couple of months now I begin to uh, notice opportunities in just about everything and that pond with the dock being that example as well as I think I found an Adam Gibbs uh, image as well that I'm about to take uh, let me show you what it looks like is just off the road as well I'm not quite sure if you can see that it's a half dry uh, twisted gnarly looking tree that has three different woodpecker holes in it and I, I for some reason it it looks appealing to me for an image so I am shooting uh, 85 millimeter lens at ISO 160 again uh, with a higher shutter speed just to uh, uh, bring that exposure down and this is what this image turned out like. Some people would very much dislike conditions like these nobody likes to get wet slosh around in the brush or slide down the the hills and getting all dirty but one thing you don't have to worry about is the hard light there's absolutely none of that and if there are any shadows at all that you need to compensate for all you have to do is uh, bracket that exposure combine those images in post-processing and you'll end up with a nice set of images so I will leave you with the last one that I did have to climb for and it's a really nice looking uh, tree with beautiful patterns I am shooting to make a point uh, ISO 160 had to switch the lens to 17 millimeter for a closer up wider uh, field of view with a two second timer so this is what that image turned out as well and uh, tell me what you think about this one So on this note, I will call it a day. I was really happy with the few images that I was able to find. Uh, and the weather is uh, terrific for that type of photography. So let me know what you think. And thanks again for checking out the video. Um, I hope you'll uh, join me on the next one. And if you are new again to this channel, please hit like and subscribe and uh, uh, we will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.